Hi, this is JB from JBL8 YouTube and just talking a little bit about failsafe. I'm kind of glad that uh, Derek had his little flyaway because I came back to check my mini quad, my Skidmark quad, and I've got one of these uh, Free Sky receivers on. It's not the D4R2, but it's the V8R42, which is the, the four channel um, PWM version. Okay, and I just thought I would check what happens if, if uh, mine went into failsafe. So, so what I'm going to do is, I'll just switch the controller on. Okay, and we'll power up. And again, if you, if you don't arm, if you don't arm, you're okay. But once you arm, okay, now, this is not set to motor stop, okay? So this is going to start spinning. But once you do arm, okay? Now watch what happens when I switch my controller off. Absolutely nothing, okay? Now let me switch back on, let it reconnect. And I'll try to turn this thing off. So it will disarm. Okay, so basically what this is telling me is that the, the receiver itself has gone into failsafe and it's by default it actually sends a signal and the signal is basically the last known command. So the NASI board doesn't realize that you've actually gone into failsafe so it doesn't do anything. So this, this will actually cause a flyaway. Okay, okay we're going to go in to connect and into the um, configuration area and we'll scroll down here and the file safe is actually set to on and the thousand means that uh, zero throttle so thousand zero throttle we're going to save and reboot okay it's going to go try setting up fail safe on the d4r2 this is actually a v8 uh, R42 receiver, but they're exactly the same. Now, what we're going to do is set it up for no pulse. Okay, so this is the way we do it. We make sure it's bound. We leave the transmitter off. We power this up. And press this for less than one second. Okay, and power this off. Now, let's, um, let's turn this back on and we'll see how we go. So we'll plug it in normally. Okay, we're going to arm. And I'm going to switch off the control. That's it. It worked. And as you can hear, the failsafe option also triggers the alarm, which means um, if you crash somewhere, all you need to do is switch off your transmitter and you can find where the thing's crashed. Okay, so that's, the, that's how easy it is to set it up. There's no reason for not doing it, and make sure you check that the failsafe is working. The last thing you want to do is have this thing fly away and possibly fly into someone's house or car or um, Never find it again. Okay, thanks for watching.